happened? I'm not sure yet. sure you took the right purse? Well, of course I'm sure. You saw me put it in. Look, I must have had my purse picked. I'm sure of it. Well, what'll I do, Joy? Should I go up and see him anyway? No. Come back right away. She should be. Did you get a good look at him? Yeah. Don't lose it. Have a seat, Mr. Zara. Thank you. We don't often get a chance to cooperate with you people, but if there's anything we can do, just name it. I'm looking for a pickpocket. What's his name? Don't know. We're in trouble. He stole a wallet out of a woman's purse in the subway this morning. You know what he looks like? Mm-hmm. We're in business. So the counties are mixed up in this. Uh-huh. She's been passing military information to the agents. You know the man she was to pass the stuff to? No. Nope. Got a line on everybody else in the picture, except him. He's Mr. Big. Cast the stuff out of the country. All we know is, as soon as he gets his hands on that film, he'll cross the ocean with it. So that's the way it happened. It's just one of those tough breaks, Joey. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. We've got to find him. In New York? You're crazy. We've got to find that film. Film? Yeah. That's right. That's what you were carrying in your wallet. You know what was on that film? A new patent for a chemical formula. So? Candy, it's the most important patent we've ever had. We've what are you got getting to... so excited about? Because we can't get another copy of it. Joey, you're talking like it was hot. How many times do I have to tell you we're not criminals? This is big business. Cutthroat business. And I'm in a spot. Well, I told you, I'm sorry it happened, but there's nothing I can do about it. So you just tell your boss I had my bag picked. Wait a minute. You're not walking out on me now. Look, we made a deal. You promised me no more deliveries after we broke up. That's right. And you promised to make this last one for me. Well, sure I did, but I can't help it if oh, some look, guy... Look, wait a minute. Look, Candy, you... you're a smart girl. You can figure out a way to find him. But I don't know anything about pickpockets. Well, you've knocked around a lot. You know people who know people. You gonna throw that in my face again? Look, Candy, you've got to help me. You know what he looks like. If I had your contacts, I wouldn't be begging like this. Well... Maybe I can get you a lead. Candy, if you can find that pickpocket for me, I'll never bother you again. Never. I promise you. All right, Joey. We have a thousand photos to go through. And from here on in, it's anybody's guess. How long do you think it'll take? Maybe the rest of the day. Maybe all night. Who knows? Is there a faster method? Well, there is one character who can help us out. Maybe. Not exactly kosher. We're fighting time. Well, no harm trying. Maybe Mo can speed this up a little. Who's Mo?
Hello, Mo. Who's the creep? What's he in for? He looks like a second story cat thief. I got a polka dot job that was just made for your personality, Tiger. We gotta get quick action. Everything around here is always an emergency. Hey, this got something to do with homicide? No. I got no killers on my table. I want to stay in business long enough to feed this kitty. How's she doing? Getting fat. I got almost enough to buy the stone and the plot. If you lost that kitty, it's Potter's Field. This, I do not think, is a very funny joke, Captain Tiger. I just meant you ought to be careful how you carry your bankroll. Look, Tiger, if... If I was to be buried in Potter's Field, it would just about kill me. I, I, I got a hole picked out on Long Island. It's private. You gotta be screened before they'll let them put you in there. That's how exclusive it is. What's the score? Don't know yet. We're looking for a cannon who binged a girl on the subway for a wallet. Well, any pigeonhole with the mall buzzers? No. And we haven't got time to go through all those files. I thought maybe you knew of some first-rate grifters who've been working the subway for the last 24 hours. I happen to know a couple of live cannons that's been playing the subway the last week. Business has been dropping. You the victim's old man? No, he's the big thumb. Stripe job would give you more personality, mister. Did you get a good look at the grifter? Yes. Uh, medium height. Ah, uh, medium. Short, tall, light, dark, fat, skinny. Thousands of cannons look like that. It's the technique. Every one of them's got his own trademark. Ah, look what that does for him, Tiger. It's yours for a buck. Uh, tell me, mister, when this happened? A couple of hours ago. Was he standing to the left of her, the right of her, or behind her? Behind her. Then he moved around and faced her. Carrying a newspaper? Yes. Rolled up or folded? Folded, I think. What do you mean, you think? What kind of a big summer we got here, Tiger? Listen, mister, you gotta be sure. I tell you, all these cannons have their own way of doing things. Oh, all right, all right. It was folded. The top side was at the front page of the classified ads. Classified. Was he southpaw? No, he used his right hand. He held the paper in his left. Did he hold it at an angle, like this? Yes. Did you see him close the purse? Yes. Did he put the paper over it like this when he closed it? Yes. And the violins were soft and sweet, and so was I. I know. Mr. Zara, wait outside. Well, but take me just a minute. Mo, we gotta work fast. Look, let's not go into that again. Look, what do you want from me, Tiger? Do I personally raise the price on hamburgers and pork and beans in Frankfurters? Is it my fault that the cost of living is going up? These are the prices as of this morning. When the cost of living goes up, my prices go up. When the cost of living goes down, my prices go down. In my book, the price on the board for a cannon is uh, $50. $50? I told you before, we got no kitty. And you're such a millionaire's salary that you can afford to pay me for all my tips? $35. Tell you what I'll do, Tiger. I'll give you the names of eight cannons that fit the job. And I'll bet you $38.50 that one of them buzzed this Miles wallet. I'll bet you $38.50 you're wrong. Mr. Zara? Yes. Skip McCoy, for a three-time loser who's been out only a week. He's begging for a fourth conviction. Well, he's got to live, too. There's one cannon I'd like to see get the chair. That's the man. We haven't even got a lead on him. So you don't know, Tiger. Thought you knew everything about everybody. Ah, he hasn't been out long enough to settle. I know how he operates. 
He's holed up somewhere. A smart cannon lives quietly. Don't advertise when he's just scored on a job, especially an ex-con like Skip. He always had a knack for living in out-of-way places, places hard to find. It's gonna be pretty hard to run him down, places he picks. Might take you almost a week to run him down. What are you angling for, a side bet? Well, every extra buck has a meaning all its own. It just so happens I haven't got a red cent left. Just so happens I know where he's shacked up. That's part of the bet. Listen, Tiger, do you realize that the cost of living has gone up 50%? Mo, I got no more time. Well, then what are you stalling for? Why don't you make me a pitch? Next time, I'll give you odds, two to one. The promise? Yeah. Well, all right, what are we standing here for? Gibbling and gabbling. <laughs> Visitor or pickup? Both. Tiger wants to see you. You go with Mac. I'll stick around. Sure. Still hoarding all your loot, Skip? Take a look around. You're getting paid for it. Want a beer? Sure. I'll have a beer. How's a whip? You know the whip. Always in the pink. Yeah. I got no electricity here, but the beer's always cold. You want one, Mac? Tiger's waiting. Okay. Here's the opener. Come on, let's go. Oh, uh, Winaki, just two things. After you give my place the broom, leave it the way you found it, huh? And when you got enough beer, lower my icebox back in the drink. Come on, Mac. He's here. It's fast work. I hope he didn't throw that microphone away. How do you want to handle this? He got me suspended twice for smacking him. Cost me six months' pay. You mind waiting outside? I want to handle this in my way. Sure. I was picked up. No resistance. You better make this stick. You only been out a week. And right away, those fingers got to play the subway circuit. What did you do with the wallet you lifted from the girl? Back up the pinch with a charge or drive me back to my shack. I'll drive you back in a hearse if you don't get the kink out of your mouth. Now look, Buster. You've been whip of this squad long enough to know that a guy with my rating wouldn't grip the dame on the train. Not with three strikes on me. Uh, you'll always be a two-bit cannon. And when they pick you up in the gutter dead, your hand will be in a drunk's pocket. 
You were spotted lifting that wallet. Only amateurs are spotted. So? So it's my word against one of your whiz cops. That girl was carrying TNT and it's gonna blow up right in your face. What girl? I'm gonna jam that grin right down your teeth. Go ahead, slug me. Go ahead. I'll make a bigger stink than last time. I'll see you hit the backyard without pay for one uh. year. Go on, not head slug me. Come on, hit me. Well, come on, hit me, will you? What's the matter? Are you nervous? Come on. All right. All we want is the wallet. If you got rid of it, tell us. If you toss the film away, tell us where. Who's he? None of your business. Just answer the man. Now, oh, wait a minute. I've been clean ever since I got out last week. Wouldn't touch a nickel if it's laying in the street. Where to Vonnie? Why don't you haul that girl down here to identify me? It's my word against hers. No. It's your word against mine. I saw you close her purse. All right, so it's your word. But you got a nail of goods on me, mister, and I'm clean. Go ahead, fan me. Come on, give me the that word. That film you stole had government information on it. Classified. We've been following this girl for months. And just as we were about to grab a top red agent receiving the film from her, you broke up the ball game. Now, can't you see how important this is? We just want your cooperation, and the charges against you will be dropped. Isn't that right, Captain? You know, I'd like to make this rap stick. But what he's got to do is more important. Well, you boys are talking in the wrong corner. I'm just a guy keeping my hands in my own pockets. If you refuse to cooperate, you'll be as guilty as the traitors that gave Stalin the Aba. Are you waving a flag at me? I know something in our side you should give. And I know you pinched me three times, got me convicted three times, and made me a three-time loser. And I know you took an oath to put me away for life. Well, you're trying awful hard with all this patriotic eyewash, but uh. get this. I didn't grift that film, and you can't prove I did. And if I said I did, you'd slap that fourth rap across my teeth, no matter what promises you made. Do you know what treason means? Who cares? Answer the man! Is there a law now I gotta listen to lectures? McGregor, get him out of here. Get him out of this building. Hello. If that's Wanaki, ask him if he put my beer back on ice, huh? Hey, Willie. What have you been feeding a tiger lately? Watch it, bud. I'd like to see a copy of the New York Times, uh, January 5th, 1947. Fill this out, please. Sure.
So who told you to ask me? The pin boy in the bowling alley. So who told you to ask him? The fellow that works at the Houston Street auction shop. So why don't you go to the cops? Look, 20 bucks if you tell me where I can find Lightning Louie. Put it on the table. Not till you tell me. I'm Lightning Louie. Then why'd you tell me your name was Godkin? Look, blubber moths, you give me back my dough or there's gonna be trouble. Adam? What's my name? Uptown or downtown? My downtown name. Lightning Louie. For another 20, I'll give you the name of the stoolie who knows everything about cannons. Well, I hope you bust. One seven four Bowery. Over a tattoo shop. One flight up, head of the stairs. Her name is Mo. A woman? Tell her I sent you. Drum? Bring me another order of Chow Fun. Chow Shu Bao. stoolie in the business. What kind of talk is that calling me a stoolie? I was brought up to report any injustice to the police authorities. I call that being a solid citizen. But you get paid for it. You're gonna knock it? I'm looking for the pickpocket who lifted my wallet in the subway this morning. Oh. So you're the muffin. What do you mean? Oh, one cannon talks to another where it gets around. What was in the wallet? That's pretty. Something personal. How personal? What difference does it make? He didn't know what was in it when he took it. How do you know? You got a boyfriend? Why? Like to buy him a tie? I happen to carry a complete line of personality neckwear. Bargain prices. Look, I'll tell you all the facts. Nothing else. Now, you want to do business? You got any happy money on you? Happy money? Yeah. Money that's gonna make me feel happy. What else? How happy? Fifty dollars?
good time looking. Want a beer? I want my wallet. What wallet? The one you lifted from my bag today. Oh, now, do I look like a pickpocket? You sure do. <laughs> Wipe your face off. How much did Mo get out of you? Huh? I figure you shelled out about 50 bucks to find me. If I know Mo. Huh? <laughs> well, Mo's all right. She's got to eat. Crummy time. Look, did you throw it away? Hmm? Mr. McCoy, I got to find that wallet. Why? It's no good to you or to anybody else. No? Oh. What's the matter? I bust something? I think I'm sick. Sit down and see. Find out the trouble. Ow! That's where it hurts. Let's fix that up. You just relax. All right. Let's have a small dose of straight talk. There was some film in it. You mean you ransacked my joint just to find some film? You got me in an awful mess when you took it. What kind of a mess? You working for some blackmailer? Oh, no. Nothing like that, Mr. McCoy. They're pictures of my brother, Mickey. He's a war hero in Korea, and my mother's waiting to see them. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you go with the cops, honey? I got in a little trouble with them, and it'd kill my mother if she... You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, sure. Feel bad? Does the beer always do this to you? What kind of trouble did you get into with the cops, Muffin? Oh, a girl makes mistakes. Mm -hmm. I was only asking, because... Because uh... why? you see, my son? There might be another little old lady looking for pictures of her boy. I gotta make sure it's your brother, Mickey. I'll tell my mother. You do that. Tiger, you're waking up half the waterfront with those clodhoppers. You're not losing any time. Neither are you. Did you make a deal? Go on, drum up a charge. Throw me in. You've done it before. Locking you up isn't going to help. You're sitting on a hot rock, ain't you? I'd like to see you jump. I promised to drop the pickpocket charge if you play ball. All right, so it's bush league to you. Now I'm going to give you big league stuff. I'd rather chop my leg off than say what I came to say, but I gotta push personal feelings aside. I'm going to the commissioner himself, and I'm gonna ask him to whitewash you. 
Me, personally, I'm gonna beg him to give you a clean slate. No more three-time loser for you, Skip. A nice, fat bill of health for that strip of film. That's what I'm gonna ask him to do. <laughs> You're gonna ask him? Who are you kidding? You guys sat yourselves down at a long table, tried to figure out an angle. Your idea, huh? <laughs> you mean the commissioner's idea and all the big wheels in the department. All right, Skip, I won't push it. But just remember, if it's the last thing I do, no matter what happens about this commie setup, I'm gonna see that you get it. Hey, Tiger, save the taxpayers some money. Don't plant a wire in here, because I'll tear it out. Goodbye. <laughs> Find him? So he got it? Yeah, but he knows what's on it. Oh, what I had to go through to run that guy down. <sighs> Professional stool pigeon clipped me for 50 bucks. She calls herself Mo, operates at 174 Bowery. Sells ties as a front. What do you mean he knows what's on it? The way he hung on to it. He's been around. Did he say what's on the film? He's shaking you down. That tells the story. Did you... Did you mention my name? No. Nope. Does he know where I live? What are you getting so excited about? You should be celebrating. I found him for you, didn't I? He's got what you want. So I'll give you his address and you go over and make a deal. No. No, I... I can't take a chance. Well, I like that. You can't take a chance, but you send me over there. It's different with you, Candy. In what way? Well, he... He might have been hired for the job. You think he knew what he was stealing? Could be. Well, then why didn't he contact you? It makes no sense to me. Well, he might be playing both ends against the middle, don't you see? No, I don't see. But then, maybe there's something about that film that you haven't told me. What do you mean by that? You tell me. There's nothing very complicated about it, Candy. It's... It's just that if he knew I was after the film, he'd increase the price, that's all. I told you I was in a cutthroat business. These manufacturers would do anything to eliminate each other. That's the reason I've got to keep out of it. And that's the reason you've got to go back to him. Well, I'm not going back to that guy. He clipped me on the jaw. Look, this is all part of your last delivery. You started this job, now finish it. Yeah. Here's 500. Offer him 50. If he holds out for more, give him another 50. Whatever's left is yours. You can buy a lot of dresses with $400. You've got to come back with it, Candy. I'll wait for you in the office. Hey, I'm down here. The stairs are behind the hammock. Where's your old lady? She couldn't come. Oh, it's too bad. Got the cabbage? Uh-huh. I just can't figure you out. Don't try. Let your old lady do all the figuring. How much she give you? How come a nice guy like you goes around picking handbags in the subway? Muffin, the last time I worked the subway, I was in short pants. The last time was this morning. Unless you got a couple extra licks in between. Oh, that would be that way. How many times you've been caught with your hand where it doesn't belong? Well, I tell you, baby, whenever I'm caught, it's always an accident. Like, uh, maybe I don't feel so good, you know? Or maybe I'm not concentrating. I've been tapped a couple, three times. Three times? Yeah, that's part of the business, red side of the ledger. Want to smoke? Sure. I once knew a... I mean, I once heard of a fellow who was in... who was in jail three times. The next time they arrested him, they locked him up for good. Well, that's the way it goes. There's a law about three-time losers, you know. Fourth conviction means life. You mean, if they'd caught you this morning picking my purse, you could be sent up for life? Nothing happens when I'm concentrating. 
You're a dope taking chances like that. How much money do you think people carry around? How's the chin? Fine. Good. You got fingers like an artist. Mm -hmm. Soft and smooth. In my business, I gotta keep them that way. And when they stay empty, they get nervous. Come on, come on. How'd you get to be a pickpocket? <laughs> How did I get to be a pickpocket? How'd you get to be what you are? Things happen, that's all. Look, don't get sore. Well, don't ask stupid questions. I only ask because I'm interested. Interested in it. How much is it worth to you? What are you pushing me for? Came here to buy, it, didn't you? You're not going to raise the ante by smearing my lipstick. Then why the pitch? Because I really like you. Yeah, why? Everybody likes everybody when they're kissing. And everybody's always different. So tomorrow you'll like somebody else. I kissed a lot of guys. But honest, Skip, I never felt like this. You're talking like you got a fever. I know what you mean now. Look for oil and you hit a gush. Talk about it. How much? Five hundred. You tell that commie I want a big score for that film and I want it in cash. Tonight. What are you talking about? You tell me you people are supposed to have all the answers. Tell you what? I don't. Come on, drop the act. So you're a red. Who cares? Your money's as good as anybody else's. Now get your stern up those stairs and tell your old lady what I want. A rat? Take off. You think I'm a rat? I don't me? think anything. I know. I know what you're after. I know what it's worth. Just don't help me. I don't know what you're you talking know, about. You know, all right. But what you don't know is that when I grifted your wallet, I was pulled in by the cops. You know how hard it is to spot my fingers in action? Can't be done. But a guy did it. You know how he did it? He was watching you. And that guy you were supposed to pass the film to, you don't know anything about him either, huh? He's still waiting. He's itching for it. Look, Skip. The way I feel about you, I wouldn't lie to you. You gotta believe me. I gotta believe nobody. I'll do business with a red, but I don't have to believe one. I'm sorry, Skip. I... Now tell your old lady I'm shaking down you reds for 25 grand. Get going! What a line you gave me. And me falling for it. Took the 500 right out of my bag. You know what's crazy about the whole thing? You know what he wants? $25,000. $25,000 for that film. Did you ever hear of such a crazy thing? You know why? You know what he said? <laughs> he, he's crazy. He, he said I was a commie. Did you ever hear of such a thing? What makes people like that? Where do they get such ideas? All right, he wants to shake us down, but to start calling us commies. Sit down. And you know what else he told me? Sit down. You should have taken care of him yourself. You know I couldn't take a chance. I know you're getting paid to take them. Security isn't interested in all this confusion.
delivery must be made tomorrow night. Get that film. Where does he live? I know what kind of a guy he is. He'll kill you. Where does he live? If you kill him, you'll get the chair. Joey, I know we're all washed up, but I still owe you something for the break you gave me. I don't want to see you end up in, on a slab. All right, I'll find him myself. I'll find him the way you did. <laughs> okay, Joey. I'll tell you. He lives in... 704 West 47th Street, near 10th Avenue, in the basement. I'm going crazy. I I didn't know where to go. I, I, I didn't know who to talk to. I, why don't you go to the cop? Who'd believe I didn't know what I was passing? Who'd believe me? Who'd believe me? Would you believe me? Do you know what they do to people who hand out government secrets? Mo, you got to promise me, Mo. When Joey asks you, you don't know where Skip lives. He won't find me. He knows where you live. Well, why ain't he here? I gave him a phony address for Skip. He's looking for him now. So why don't you tell Skip? He won't believe a word I tell him. Oh. So he crawled under your skin, too, huh? He's as shifty as smoke, but I love him. You sold him out for 50 bucks. Oh, look, some people peddle apples, lamb chops, lumber. I peddle information. Skip ain't sorry, understands. We live in a different kind of a world. Oh, once in a while he gets hot under the collar if I sell him short. Sure. But you wouldn't sell him to a commie. What do you think I am, an informer? Oh. <laughs> Away from your shack, Skip. There's, there's a guy gunning for you. Well, he won't have any trouble finding me. Everybody in town knows where I live. I didn't pinpoint you, honest. I give Tiger the name of eight cannons, but that creep that was with him, he fingered your picture like a shot. Mm. Confidentially, it sounded like your kind of an act. You think so? How much did you raise on me for your stone and plot? Oh, don't be sore. They'd have caught up with you in a couple of hours anyways. I just chopped down on the time a little. That's mighty nice of you. Who's gunning for me? What's the matter with you? Playing footsies with the commies. You waving a flag, too? Listen, I knew you since you was a little kid. You was always a regular kind of crook. Yeah. I... I never figured you for a louse. Stop, you're breaking my heart. Even in our crummy kind of business, you gotta draw the line somewhere. That muffin you grifted, she's okay. Stuck her chin way out for you. She's... Hey, you look tired, Mo. You better go home. Go on. Stop using your hands, Skip, and start using your head. Kid loves you. Bye, Skip. See you, Mom.
one last time, mister? Latest Fifth Avenue creation. By time. Café, mademoiselle, un rendez-vous, mademoiselle, le violiste, le roi, un sourire, mademoiselle, and as the night goes by. Just like wine, no heart to drown the way that mine does for you. And yet, I know too well. Someday you'll say goodbye. What are you buying, Mister? The name and address of the pickpocket you sold to a girl tonight. Maybe I forgot. Here's a hundred to remember. You pant like a dog. Five hundred. What's this guy made out of diamonds? Just give me the answer. Maybe it'll come to me in a couple of days. Maybe you won't be around here in a couple of days. You threatening to blow my head off? Ask a silly question, you get a dopey look. Why are you holding back on me? You'd sell anybody for buttons. Yeah, but not to you, mister. Look, I haven't got a lot of time. You haven't got a lot of time. Listen, mister. When I come in here tonight, you've seen an old clock running down. I'm tired. I'm through. Happens to everybody sometime. Will happen to you too someday. With me, it's, it's a little bit of everything. I back aches and headaches. I can't sleep nights. It's so hard to get up in the morning and and get dressed and walk the streets, climb the stairs. I go right on doing it. But what am I going to do? Knock it? I have to go on making a living so I can die. But even a fancy funeral ain't worth waiting for if I've got to do business with crumbs like you. And I know what you're after. What do you know? I know you commies are looking for some film that don't belong to you. You just talked yourself into an early grave. What else do you know? What do I know about commies? Nothing. I know one thing. I just don't like them. So I don't get to have the fancy funeral after all. Anyway, I tried. Look, mister, 
I'm so tired. You'd be doing me a big favor if you'd blow my head off. Come on, hey, stick up. Put your hands up against that wall. Oh, cops. Sure. For a minute there, I thought it was a stick up. No weapon. Of course not. I never used a gun in my life. Turn around. Sure. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? A homicide route. Come on, let's go. Homicide? Come Look, on. you got the wrong guy. Take it easy, will you? You can't pull me in like this. What's the charge? We're pulling in every pickpocket in Moe's book. When did you see her last? You mean Mo got it? Somebody shot her head off. What? Lieutenant? Hey, Eddie. Yeah. Hang on to it. Yeah? Lieutenant Campion? Yes? My name is Inyard. Yes, sir. Your driver just told me what time it happened. McCoy's not your man. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Inyard, but my orders are to bring him in. I've been here the whole time, Lieutenant, watching him. Have the captain of your homicide squad check with Mr. Zaro. All right. Come on. Yeah, I know, but I thought they were supposed to hold on to her till somebody claims. Nobody will claim her. She'll complete the morning load to Potter's Field. All right, Captain. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. Take him off. Huh? Take him off. Let's go. Well. Something wrong? I got a clearance to pick up number 11. The name's Mo. Mo Williams. Steve, Eleven goes back. Give him a lift. doing here without the dough? I went to her last night. I begged her not to tell Joey where you lived. She wouldn't sell you, Skip. She really loved you. Who's Joey? Your old lady? You're not listening. Is Joey your old lady? Yes. But I, I told her all about it. I knew he'd find her. 
sure of it. He was ordered to find you. I was there. I, I saw him take the gun. But honestly, I didn't think he'd kill her. Oh, shut up. <laughs> It's my fault. I didn't, and I didn't know. mean it. I was thinking about Mo. I didn't know. She just didn't figure to go that way. Oh. It's all right. It's okay. It's my fault. I've been up all night walking the streets. I didn't know where to go. What I read about it in the papers, I had to see you, Skip. I had to tell you how it happened. You've been so wrong about me, Skip. It's I had nothing okay. to do with it's it. All it's all right. Oh. Old picture now. Where does he live? He's got a gun. I'll let the cops handle it. Where does he live? 340 West 96th Street. You better have that 25 grand ready. Squad? Yep. There's the film you've been looking for. The film the commies want. Skip told me to bring it right to you. Skip told you? Yeah. Hey, uh, I was followed here, and not by friends. I followed you. This film's marked all right. Would you sit down over here, please? Now, just relax and answer a few questions. How did you contact Skip McCoy? A lady called Mo. Your friends have anything to do with the murder? Yes. You say that under oath? I'll tell you everything I know under oath. Do you know what was on that film when Skip lifted it from your purse? Look, mister, I didn't say anything about anybody lifting anything from my purse. I came here to help you out. That's the way Skip wanted it. Uh... He's been fighting something inside him. Something decent, trying to crawl out. Well, what's the difference why he sent me? I'm here with the film. That's enough. How long have you known Joy was a communist agent? I didn't know till Skip told me. Honest. You want to help us fight communism, don't you? That's why Skip sent me, to help you. What I'm going to ask you to do might be dangerous. I'm here. All right. Go back to Joy with this film. Carry through with the original plan. Now, whether you make delivery or Joey, it doesn't matter. We'll jump when this film passes to the man we want. Are you ready? Sure. Phone Joey. Tell him you've got the film. I told you there was a big difference between a traitor and a pickpocket. Hello. Joey, this is Candy.
door unlocked. Pour yourself a cup of coffee. Come on out here. Did you hear me? I said, come on out here. Come on, quit stalling. Did you hear me? I said, come out. Sandy. Why did you give me a phony address? I had to. Why? Because I didn't want you to kill him. I didn't want you to go to the chair. Where you been all night? With him. I'm going to beat the truth out of you. What are you up to? What are you trying to... Go play? ahead! Beat up on me! If you don't believe me. But I got the film. How'd you get it? You wanted 25000 How did you do it? How do you think? I wasn't lying to you, Joey. I, I just didn't want to see you get the chair. You know how I feel about you. I'd do anything for you, Joey. I'd give you anything. There's I... a frame missing. You'd do anything for me, huh? Where does he live? He's moved. Where does he live? He's gone. Joey! I knew. Where does he live? Where does he She's still alive. Get an ambulance, quick. Give me headquarters, police headquarters. He's in the building somewhere. Try every floor, every stairway. Send an ambulance. A woman's been shot at 607 West 74th Street, apartment 302. And notify homicide. He's not on the roof. Throw some more men at the entrance. Ray, check the janitor closet for all floors. Gibbs didn't make it. He died a few minutes ago. No, 
she's got a 50-50 chance. Yes, general alarm is in effect right now. Every man in the police department's cooperating with us. Yes, sir. Hundreds of prints of his face have been distributed. I want you men to keep reminding the officers that just as soon as Joey is recognized, he's to be followed, no matter what happens. I want an arrest when he passes that film. <laughs> Look, why are they taking so long? Are you sure they went to get him? Why are they taking so long? You'd better calm down if you want to get better. Look, phone the cops. Go look outside, see if he's coming. Why are they taking so long? There's a door. Go answer it. Answer it! Joey found a frame missing. I had to tell you before he got to you. I play everything smart. But you... clubbing me and taking that film. Look, get rid of it, Skip. Get rid of it. You're clean now. I'm sorry I spoiled your big score. I know it sounds corny to you, but... I'd rather have a live pickpocket than a dead traitor. And I'd rather have you talk without a twist. I told you before, Skip, I wouldn't lie to you. Does Joey know where I live? Your address was in my purse. That's why I wanted the cops to get to you before he did. Now, don't go back to the shack, Skip. Did Joey kick your face in? Yeah. Why? Because I wouldn't tell him where you live. down here. It's funny. The light's on. You'll probably be back in a minute. Why didn't you get in touch with me earlier? I couldn't take a chance until they were off my back. You're sure this is the right place? This, this is it. 60, 66 South Street. How much time have we got? 30 minutes. Well, you better deliver what you've got. Maybe it might be better if you turned it over. I'll wait here for McCoy. You haven't got much time. Joey. Yes? Tell him I'll meet him at the airport with the other frame, but not to wait.
a frame. Listen, Buster. Oh. Oh. Tiger, how's the whip? Still cracking, huh? You know, I didn't need an escort from the clink back to this rat trap. It's too bad you couldn't make that charge stick. Huh? Let's have my release papers. Thanks a lot. Honey, you look as good as new. Did you miss me, Muffin? Come on, let's get out of here. Well, ain't you even gonna say goodbye, Tiger? Wait a minute. I had you right where I wanted you. A gun in your pocket. A cinch for a three-time loser. That's right. What are you gonna do about it? You'll always be a two-bit person, aren't you? I give you 30 days before I pick you up with your hand in somebody else's pocket. You want to bet? <laughs> 